Hi everyone, welcome back to my DIY home with Liz. Today we are going to be decorating my dining room table and I'm gonna be showing you how I do it using mainly Dollar Tree products. I wanted to do this video a little bit different and instead of just having it all ready to go, I'm gonna kind of walk you through the process that I go through for decorating. I'm gonna show you what I picked up from the Dollar Tree and then we can kind of make the decision as we go on how to put it together. So so let's get started. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys kind of what I'm starting with and then we can put it all together. So the first thing I found was this rug and I picked this up at five below, so it was only $5, and it's a three by five rug, like it's really big, but I kind of had the idea of maybe using it as a table runner, so we'll see how that works out. I also have these candle stands. I have them in gold as well, but I think silver. Um, I have a little bit of moss from Dollar Tree. I have this little cake stand that I made um, probably a couple of weeks ago, maybe a week, and it's just maybe something we can use. I have some um, white rocks. My main inspiration for this was these really cute flower and garden containers from Dollar Tree. So I bought three of these, so these are definitely going to go out. But um, you guys remember last year they had the long ones, so these are a little bit different because they're just round. So we're going to use three of these, and then to go with that, I just bought like a variety of white flowers. I just kind of picked the ones they had on hand, I thought that would be cute, and then I got some of these little foam things to put inside. Um, okay, so some of the other things that I decided to get was some LED candles and then I got like some of these candles because my vases that I got, I got two of these and these looked a little bit different to you guys. They um, kind of go out at the end. Have you guys seen these at Dollar Tree? So I don't know, we may try something like this or just put them out by themselves. And then I also picked up four of these jars, so we may throw those in. So that's kind of what I have so far. So I may try to iron out this rug a little bit and then just start building as we go and see how it looks. I may end up not using half of this, we'll just see. But I wanted to show you guys my process of how I kind of put everything together. Oh, the other thing I didn't show you, I got this little, um, I guess it's a charger plate from Target Dollar Spot, and this was, this was $3. So with this table runner, I just folded it in half, and I'm just going to iron out any of the kink. I hope that it's not too busy. I may have to put something over it because right now it's looking a little busy to me, but we'll just kind of see how it goes. Now I'm just going to center that in the middle of my table. The next step that I want to do is add in all of the big items. So I'm going to be placing all of the cake plates and vases where they go before I start putting in the smaller things. So I'm just gonna try to lay it out and see where I like everything. And you also want, I believe, everything facing wherever your door is. So my front door is over there, so everything is going to be placed so that when you walk into my home, you can see it all laid out. I 
have my basic layout done of where everything is going to go but I need to kind of break it up because I feel like it's a long board with just a bunch of different things on it. So I need to add in some texture. So what I decided to do was get some of this burlap that I had downstairs, you can get it at Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to put these going the opposite direction to kind of give a little bit different texture and visual interest. I really like the way that breaks things up a little bit and that's kind of one of my tips is just try different things out like sometimes I think oh well that'll be crazy and then I do it and it looks nice but sometimes I do it and it looks horrible and I, you just take it off so don't be afraid to just try out different things and apply different textures the more texture you have I think the more cohesive and better it will look so the next step we're going to do is put together our flower arrangements into these little flower and garden pots I'm going to put two of these in each of my pots and then I'll just use these to stick the flowers inside so I have all of these different flowers so I'm just gonna start creating I'm just gonna start putting them in and I want it to be sort of in a half circle so I'm just gonna do my best to kind of intersperse the flowers so they look similar and hopefully I have enough we'll see so I'm gonna be putting that top one in about that high and then you want to come in and put some over you know towards the side as well Now that the flowers are all finished, I'm going to try to put these candles in here. I'm going to use some white rocks that I had from the Dollar Tree. Next, I'm going to use this four pack of candles and put those into these little vases. I don't think I'm going to add anything additional to these, but we'll see. I really want to add in this burlap, and this comes on a spool at Dollar Tree, so I'm going to try to somehow add it around the smaller candles. What do you guys think of the burlap that I just added? You'll have to let me know in the comments below if you like it. I'm not 100% sold on it, but I do like the added texture. 
I would love to see any pictures if you guys recreate this or any of my other DIYs. You can always send me a DM at my DIY home Liz on Instagram. And if you guys haven't checked out this thrift store redo, I know you're going to love it. I'm going to link it right here so you guys can go watch that video next. And I will talk to you in my next DIY.